Day five, the defining moment. Woo! Do you stay or do you go? I'm sure you felt this question pop up in your head several times in the last five days. Maybe I should just stop now. Maybe I should have that chocolate or whatever it might be that your vice is, but this is the day when you stay in this present moment and you forge through because it is gonna get a lot easier after today if it hasn't already. So thank you for making it this far. You're incredible, you're beautiful, and we love you exactly how you are. So today we're gonna start in the chair. So if you don't have a chair at home, feel free to sit on a, a kitchen table chair or a living room chair. You don't have to have a metal chair, but if you do, definitely use that today. So you're gonna sit on the chair and take your feet hip distance apart. Slide your feet to the right side of the chair, then make them hip distance apart. Grab the back bar of the chair with both hands. So if you're using a kitchen chair, you can grab the sides. If you're on a living room chair, extend your hands out to the side and grab. And then press your sitting bones down, take a deep inhalation, lift your chest, and exhale, twist. Extend your elbows away from one another, roll your shoulders back, and keep your chin in line with your sternum. So we do twist to stay in the present moment. It's said that back bends bring you into the past and forward bends bring you into the future and twists allow us to stay in the present. Create space in your spine by lifting your chest every inhalation and exhale to twist a little bit deeper. And as Eddie said in a previous class, at some point you stop twisting, that your spine can only twist a certain amount of degrees. So at that point, you keep extending and lifting, creating space in between your vertebrae. Good, on your next exhalation, release and swing your legs to the other side of the chair. Sit back and put your sacrum in line with the back of the chair seat. Set your ankles underneath your knees, hip distance apart. Grab the back bar. Press your sitting bones down. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, take your elbows away from one another to twist. Allow the knee that's on the outside of the chair, away from where you're twisting, to come forward. Allow your pelvis to move organically. Don't try to keep your knees in a line. Twist can bring up tension, so soften your face, soften your breath. And with every inhalation, lift your chest and every exhalation, twist. Good, at the bottom of your next exhalation, allow yourself to untwist as you go and then swing your legs to the other side of the chair. Take the hand that's on the outside of the chair, grab the inner knee. So if it's your, your left hand is what Eddie has, grab the outside of your right knee and take your right hand to the back of the chair seat. You can do this with any kind of chair. Press your sitting bones down, lift your chest, and exhale, twist. Draw your shoulders down your back, separate your elbows, and breathe. The chin stays in line with your sternum.
and your chest lifts towards your chin. So you have the ability to change your body and these poses and this cleanse are a beautiful path to do that. Good, on your next exhale, release. Come back to center and swing your legs to the other side. Line your sacrum up with the back of the bar. Grab your left outer knee with your right hand. Take the chair seat with your left hand. Press your sitting bones down. Take a deep inhalation, lift your chest, and exhale to twist. Take your elbows out and away from one another. Your chin stays in line with your sternum. And you open your chest any amount. You'll feel that it's harder to twist on one side than it is on the other. That one shoulder feels like it won't go back or the spine even might feel like it just doesn't twist that way as easily as the other way. And that's okay, your body is asymmetrical side to side. We're all built differently. Just accept yourself as you are and know that the congestion in your body that you'd like to get rid of, it's possible. That you can do this by detoxifying and by practicing yoga, you can change the congestion and the stiffness in your body so that you'll be able to move more easily through life. At the bottom or during your next exhale, release the twist, come back to center. Get rid of the chair and grab a bolster. Again, if you don't have a bolster, you can use a pillow. Next, you're gonna grab the bolster, place it on the mat so it makes a cross on the mat, and then you're gonna sit on the bolster with your right buttocks cheek and sitting bone on the bolster. Your feet will swing to the left your right foot points straight out and it's on the bottom and your left foot comes over the the ankle comes over the arch of the foot this is the same foot position that we did in Bharad Vajrasana the other day where we laid down on the bolster then you'll take your left hand reach over and grab the outer edge of your right knee and then take your right hand and grab the inside edge of the bolster behind you. Inhale, lift your chest, and exhale, use your hands as leverage to twist. Breathe through your nose. And as, all the twi as in all the twists, inhale and lift your chest and exhale to twist. Soften your jaw, your lips, your cheeks. And as we said in the other video that has twist, that the other class that we've done this week, twist can bring up some anger if you have stiffness in your shoulders. They can, it can bring up emotion and that is the purpose of the yoga. The purpose of the yoga is to bring up your agitations so you can let them go and calm your agitations and fluctuations of your mind. Yoga is the path to freedom. 
and it requires a consistent daily practice to actually work for you. So take one more full inhalation, lift your sternum any amount, and then exhale, unwind. Shift your legs to the other side. This time the left foot points straight out and the right ankle sits in your left arch. Your left sitting bone is on the bolster. Take your right hand to the outside of your left knee and your left hand to the inner edge of the bolster behind you. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale to twist. Take your right elbow and bend it towards the front of you. Roll your right shoulder back. Breathe slow, smooth, even through your nose. Yoga and the practice, it's a lifestyle. And so is Purium. So is flooding your body with daily nutrition and really showing yourself self-love and self-care by fueling your body with what it wants, with what it needs, with what it can use to fuel you through life. And they both take you to decide to consume and to practice these self-reliant healing systems. Take one more full inhalation and then exhale to unwind. Extend your legs out in front of you. Sit on the bolster with both sitting bones. Bend your right knee and take your right heel to touch the bolster. Let raise your left arm up. Inhale and raise your left arm up. And then exhale, take your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Point your fingertips straight up to the ceiling and take your right hand behind you. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale. Use the leverage of your elbow against your knee, knee against your elbow to twist. Don't let your knee come all the way over to the left side, but keep it stable, centered. Soften your belly. Allow the grip to release. And press out the mound of your left big toe. Engage your left leg. Take one more full inhalation, lift your chest any amount, and then exhale to unwind. Straighten your right leg, and then bend your left knee and pull your left heel to touch the bolster. Inhale, raise your right arm up, and exhale, take your left, your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. See if you can get your belly skin, your flesh, to come past the quadricep of your left leg. Mm -hmm. 
Be careful not to sit back on your sacrum, but stay sitting up. Inhale and lift your chest, and exhale to twist. Soften your belly and breathe through your nose. Good, take one more full inhalation and exhale to unwind. Push the bolster off to the side and come into Upavishta Konasana. Line your heels up with the corners of your mat. Bring your hands behind you and lift your chest. Then reach down to your right ankle. Grab your right ankle with your right hand. Bring your left hand to your left hip. Extend through the top of your spine, crown of your head. And then twist, turn your chest up towards the ceiling. Take your left shoulder back left elbow back. Keep your right arm stick straight and roll your right shoulder back. Press out the inner edges of both mounds of your big toes. Soften your belly and breathe. So if we grip the belly when we're twisting, we don't have the capability to twist as much as we possibly could. So allow your belly to be soft. Notice that when you release the grip of your abdomen, it has the tendency to come back seconds later. We have that tendency in our society to walk around with a gripped belly. So really practice the art of letting that go letting that soften so you can fully feel your emotions as they come up. Take one more full inhalation and exhale, come back to center. Bring your hands behind you and lift your chest. Drop your pubic bone down towards the floor. And then reach out and grab your left ankle with your left hand. Bring your right hand to your right hip. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, twist up towards this, open your chest up towards the ceiling. Draw both shoulders down your back. Keep reaching out the mounds of your big toes. And soften your belly, any amount. Take one more full inhalation, extend any amount, and then exhale to unwind and come back to center. Bring your hands behind you and lift your chest.
Take your hands in front of you, bring them to the inner knees, grab your inner knees, pull your knees up and bring your feet together in Baddha Konasana. Bring your hands behind you to lift your chest. Draw your pubic bone down towards the floor. Let your belly go. Good. Release your hands from behind you. Take them underneath your knees. Lift your knees back up together. And then grab a bolster and a couple of blankets. If you don't have that, you can use a couple of pillows. What you're going to do is take the bolster, put it horizontal on your mat, and then stack the two blankets so that they become a pillow that's, that's high. It's about level with the bolster. It might be a little bit lower, but it's relatively close. And then you make about six to eight inches between the pillow and the bolster. You arc your chest and lie back, taking the bolster under your upper back. Your shoulders should sit in the space between the bolster and the pillow. They don't need to touch the floor. Pull the pillows into your shoulders and then extend your arms straight out. You should be able to reach down and feel space in your lower back. The bolster should not be touching you there. And then take your arms, allow them to let go. Extend your legs straight out and then allow your feet to roll out to the side. Let go completely. Let loose entirely. Bring your lips to a state of touching and not touching. Feel yourself mold over the bolster. And go inside. You may be feeling a bit of sensation in your lower back. And it's just revealing to you that your chest is needs a little bit of opening and this pose is perfect to provide that opening. So welcome that sensation. And know that with consistent practice, it can go away out of your body. Soften yourself any amount. Search for any tension that might creep in. And let it pass through you. Let yourself soften.
Bring your awareness back to your breath. And then to come up, some of you may find it easier to bend your knees to come up. You're going to take your hands down by your waist. Use your hands and arms to press yourself up. You can use your elbows and pull on your legs to come up chest first, head last. Sit straight and tall. Then grab your block. You'll need a block and a blanket. The block is vertical underneath your sternum. So it's not in your lower back at all. It's only in your upper back. And then you're going to bring a blanket underneath your head and come to the top of your head. So this is a more intense opening of the upper back. And it may cause you to feel even more sensation in your lower back. The more you press your shoulders into the block and lift your chest, the less sensation you'll have in your lower back. We spend a lot of our time bending forward in our daily life, whether it's sitting on the couch or working at a computer or looking at our phone screens or driving. So these chest openers are crucial to bringing balance into our spine so that we don't start to move too far forward which will make us age faster than we really want to. So welcome the chest openers, and even if they make you feel vulnerable, which they can. Let yourself go. The props don't make yoga easier. They actually give you more access into the posture, into the practice. And sometimes they even make the postures more difficult. If you find irritation in your neck, you can build the pillow up higher to support you. Come up, bring your hands down by your sides. And press yourself up, chest first, head last. Protecting your spine as you come up. Cross your legs and sit up tall. Allow that back bend to penetrate your being. Now for this last posture, you'll need space at a wall. 
Take your bolster, pillow, whatever you're using, and put it about four inches away from the wall. So it's not fully pressing the wall. You can even stick a block in between the wall and the bolster. And then you sit on the wall. Actually put your buttocks on the wall. Roll down onto your shoulders. and bring your legs up the wall. Roll your sacrum lower back onto the bolster. The more you can get your buttocks and hamstrings, calves, heels on the wall, the more comfortable you'll be. Lift your chest any amount and let go. The Yoga Sutras say that yoga has the ability to prevent future suffering. And we believe that these 10 day transformations and the daily protocol Imperium has the same ability. That if we nourish our bodies, that we have the ability to prevent disease, to prevent the suffering that goes along with that. That the food that we put into our bodies deeply affects our health and our well-being, emotional stability, mental clarity, energy. You are an incredible being with a beautiful bright light deep within your heart that you have the ability to shine on the world. So we must care for ourselves inside and out. To be able to have the energy the willingness and the compassion to care for others. You are a gem and a unique individual in this world. Shine your light on all who you come into contact with and continue to make this world a better place to live.
bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet together in Baddha Konasana. And allow the warmth and feeling to come back into your feet if you've lost them. And then bring your knees together with your hands. Roll to your right side, come all the way off the bolster. Rest on your side. Soften your belly. Let the skin of your face get pulled towards the floor with gravity. Continue rolling in the direction you're facing. Press yourself up to find a simple cross-legged seat. Join your palms together in front of your heart. Press your sitting bones down and lift your sternum into your thumbs. Take a slow, smooth, even, complete inhalation. Oh. Namaskar. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of day five.